this video, I'd like to go through and show you every single one of the major key cadences that I make my students play. These are the cadences that they play um, as a part of their scales, arpeggios, and cadences. And um, if you learn these cadences in every key, you're, you're developing a really good sense of the chord structure of each key as well as the keyboard and the feel for all the different chords. So it's just a really good exercise. I'll have the music up and available um, in, in the website. Just look under cadences. I'll have a, a new category, just cadences alone. You can find all the chords listed there. I just wrote them out as whole notes um, in every single key. And then you'll see what kind of rhythm I use. I'll be playing these cadences for you with the right hand nice and slow so you can kind of get a feel or look at the chords and look at every note of the chords as well as watching the fingerings. I'll play it with both the right and the left. Again, watch the fingerings. And then I'll add uh, one more time through the, each cadence with the left hand playing octave roots. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start in the key of C. The one chord is a C major chord, looks like this. The four chord is F major. And then back to the one chord. The five chord is G major. The five seven chord is called a G seven. The five chord is just um, added, you just add a seventh to it like this. It becomes a five seven. I always remove this note. It's easier for kids to play, and that's generally how it's played. Um, Anyway, you just have to know it's the same chord. Five, seven is this or this. I'm gonna play this. Got my fingers out of the way so you can see it. So that's called a G7 and then back to the one. All right, so now both hands at the same time. And that's the rhythm I use on each of these, you'll see. Then I'm gonna add octave roots and I like to use the pedal to make it smooth. So the one chord, with the four chord, back to the one, five, five, seven, back to one. All right, now let's do that same thing in the key of F. The one chord is F major, the four chord is B flat major, back to the one chord, then the five chord is C major, see that? And again, the five, seven, I'll leave this note out of it. That's the C7 chord, back to one. It's F major. Now with both hands. And then with the octave roots and the pedal. flat major. Here's the one chord, which is B flat major. The four chord is E flat major. See him? And then back to the one chord, B flat. The five chord is F major. Then you have an F7. Back to the one chord, B flat. Both hands. Four chord. Back to one. Five. Five, seven. roots, the one chord, onto the key of E flat, where the one chord is E flat major, and the four chord is A flat major, back to the E flat major, the five chord is B flat major, and then the 5 7 is a B flat 7 chord. And then back to the 1 chord, E flat major. Both hands. And then with octave roots. Back 
back to the one chord. And the five chord is E flat major. And then the E flat seven chord. Back to the one chord. Now both hands. Now the octave roots. of D flat major, the one chord, D flat major, the four chord, G flat major, back to D flat major, then the five chord is A flat major, the five seven, we call it A flat seven, back to the one chord, now both hands. On to the key of G flat. I'll go down here. G flat major, the four chord, C flat major, back to the G flat major. And then the five chord is D flat major. And then the D flat seven chord for five seven. Back to the one chord. Now we could also name these F sharp. I'll name it an, an F sharp. F sharp major, B major, back to F sharp, C sharp major, C sharp seven, back to F sharp. And now both hands. I think I'll move it up. It's a little bit muddy down here. So one chord. And then with the octave roots. to the one chord. The five chord is F sharp major. And the five seven is F sharp seven. Back to the one chord. Both hands. And then octave roots. chord, B major, the 5, 7, back to the 1 chord, both hands, the octave roots, Next, the one chord, A major, the four chord, back to the one, that's D major by the way, back to the one chord, the five chord is E major, the five seven is E seven, and then back to the one chord, both hands. key is the key of D. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to do the octave roots. Sorry about that. Octave roots in A. Okay. Now on to the key of D, where the one chord is D major. The four chord is G major. Then the one chord. The five chord is A major. And the five seven is a A7, and back to one chord. Both hands. Then the roots. Okay, on to 
of the key of G, where the one chord is G major, the four chord, C major, back to the one, the five chord is D major, and we have a D7, back to the one chord. Okay, I'm going to move it up here, it's a little muddy for you, you're still one chord. That was all the major key triads. Oh, uh, major key cadences. <laughs> well, they were all triads, but they're also cadence, all the chord progressions in, in each key. So good luck with that.